What would you like to see from the new Stargate series? This is the Babylon 5 Alliance. My name is Eric Rupp, and I am your host. As most of you know, MGM and Amazon have been working on a new Stargate project for a couple of years. It originally was a submission, an idea from Brad Wright. He had written a script for a pilot uh, and a story outline for the series that he envisioned. Uh, and that was something that was considered, but then dropped by Amazon and MGM. They're now going with other people, looking at other script ideas, different concepts of the series, either bringing back some of the old cast, going with an all-new cast, a reboot, a continuation. We're hearing lots of different things. My, my gut feeling is that at this point, they've already made the decision. The decision's been made. They know what they want to do. It's just a matter of announcing it. Now, one of the things that we're hearing, and it's a very good possibility, is a theatrical motion picture first, a movie to be released in the theaters, followed by a series, potentially followed by multiple series, which would be extremely cool. What I'd like to see is a new series featuring the original cast members in support roles. So you'd have General Carter. I mean, who makes more sense to run the SGC than Samantha Carter? Nobody. She's the one who should be in charge. I suspect no matter what they do, no matter who's running the show, I suspect that you're going to see General Carter in charge of the SGC. But beyond that, you need Dr. Daniel Jackson. You've got to have Daniel Jackson in there. Nobody knows alien civilizations and communications better than Daniel Jackson. He's a huge asset. They've got to have him in there. Even if it's just in a recurring role, you got to have Michael Shanks as Daniel Jackson. But also, I mean, it would make absolutely no sense to have a Stargate project without Dr. Rodney McKay. Let's face it. Dr. McKay, according to him, is the smartest guy in two galaxies. You don't let somebody that smart, that creative, that talented, that valuable get away from the SGC. There's no way you could believe that Dr. McKay would not be involved in the Stargate program in one way or another. He's got to be there. They've got to have him there at least as a recurring character. Let's face it, there is not a more likable, annoying character than Dr. Rodney McKay. Rodney's great. I've always loved Rodney. Even when he was on Stargate SG-1, when he first came on, yeah, he was really annoying. But as he got to Atlantis, things got a lot better. And you know what? He's one of the most likable characters on there. For all of his flaws, he really wants to do the right thing. And you got to love Rodney. So they've got to have David Hewlett on there as Rodney McKay. Michael Shanks as Daniel Jackson. I'd love to see Ben Browder back as Cam Mitchell. Colonel Mitchell. I mean, you've got to have him in there. Maybe he's a general now. Maybe he's a general and he's working in Washington coordinating the SGC with the president. Who knows? They could have him doing that. Um, you could have uh, Colonel Shepard in there doing a similar thing or maybe in an off-world position. Maybe he's in Pegasus overseeing the situation with the Wraith. Maybe that's still ongoing. There's a lot of things they could do with these original cast members that are still very capable of doing a great job with their parts and put them in a support role and then have younger people, younger actors playing younger characters who are the new SG-1, the new lead team on Atlantis. You could have these people there. We're following their adventures, but the support roles, kind of like what we saw from Dr. Weir before or General Hammond, we could have them played by the original cast members. It would be fantastic. And that's really what I'm hoping to see is something that continues the legacy of SG-1 and Atlantis. And then uh, uh, it would be really nice to have a conclusion to Stargate Universe. It wasn't, in my opinion, as good as the other two shows, but it got better as it went along. And I really enjoyed the series, especially the second season. But I think by the time you got to about halfway through the first season, they really started finding their footing, really got a good direction for that. And it would be nice to get a conclusion to that. And hopefully we get that. If we do get more than one series, I suspect we'll see that, whether it's in the form of a movie or a multi-part uh SG-1 or whatever the new series is called, they could do something to conclude that. But I'm really hoping that we see original cast members supporting the new team members and we could get something really special from the new Stargate. Let us know what you think. Comment below and we'll discuss it here at the Babylon 5 Alliance.